Hello, my name is Ashley Sher. Today we are going to talk about the cueing of ear pose. Um, I'm just going to check that um, ear pressure pose. The cueing of ear pressure pose for our RYT 300 yoga teacher trainees. So, I'm going to cue you in and out of the pose. So often in teacher trainings, there's just cueing into the pose, but it's sort of like getting the cat up a tree. How's the cat going to come down? So I want to take you 360 um, today. We're gonna to go in and out of it. So from a standing position in Tadasana, take a few breaths. Firmly rooting your feet into the ground, shoulders back, palms can be forward. Inhale the arms up, come down into forward fold, all the way, shimmying out the feet to a squat. From a squat, come to a comfortable um, seated position. Easy seat. From easy seat, turn yourself 90 degrees, so it's like a seated boat pose with your feet firmly rooted on the ground. From a seated boat pose, slowly roll back vertebrae by vertebrae of your spine. On a big inhale, bring your legs up to um, a position of legs up the wall. On an even, and exhale and relax. On your next inhale, push up, shimming your elbows behind you into a shoulder stand. From a shoulder stand, exhale, bending your knees and placing your feet by your ears. I mean, placing your knees by your ears, excuse me. Your hands can be out in front of you or on your back. I'm going to check the exact hand placement in a minute when we come out of it. Exhale, slowly roll forward. You can come back to a comfortable seated position. So that is the cueing for ear pressure pose. I'm just going to check um, quickly because we do film live um, if the hands are forward or behind us. This is a practice, not a perfect real work for real women. We're all learning and evolving as we go. pressure pose um, according to the 84 classical um, Hatha yoga poses to be true to the original scripture. We're going to place our hands behind our knees. So I'm going to take you through the cueing of ear pressure pose one more time and when we get into the actual pose we're going to place these hands behind the knees and we're going to really um, try to tap our hands by our ear and have our knees. So we're going to squeeze our knees and our hands to the side of our face. So I will walk you through that cueing again. So from a com let's take it from a comfortable seated position, easy seat, or um, Sukhasana. So from Sukhasana, take a few grounding breaths. Then turn 90 degrees, straightening out your legs. This time we'll work our core by coming down vertebrae by vertebrae. With a big sweep up, push up into shoulder stance, dropping one knee, dropping the next. Then bring your hands around your legs, folding your wrist down and placing your hands by your ear. Squeeze your knees, in your hands to your ears. When you feel ready to come out of this pose, you can bring your hands back down to the mat to support you, and then slowly straighten your legs and slowly roll back to Savasana. 
This could be a wonderful pose to transition into Savasana. On an inhale, come to one side. You can slightly bend your knees. Push up to a comfortable seated position at your own pace so you're not lightheaded. Namaste. May the light in me be the light in you. Have a blessed day. Thanks for joining our RYT 300 today.